This is going to be a hot extraction of indigo from wold leaves. Uh, <clears throat> this is our standard measure uh, of um, wold leaves, the carrier bag. Um, and uh, this, this particular one, carrier bag full, uh, it's, quite, it's quite a big carrier bag. But it actually contains 1.7 kilos of leaves. You might not be able to get that into a standard supermarket carrier bag. Uh, but this is about the right amount to, to use for a, for a hot extraction. If you try to do it in a too large a batch, uh, you may have encounter problems. And if it's too small a batch, you may also have a few problems. So 1.7 kilos, somewhere between one, two kilos is a good amount to start with. Okay, so I'm just going to tip the leaves. I haven't done anything to them. I'm just going to tip them in the bucket. If there's any old, old manky yellow, yellow leaves, just take them out. Okay. Push the leaves down. then we want to pour in enough boiling water to just cover the leaves. So we've got some here. And then, like before, we put in a few uh, plastic bottles full of water just to keep the leaves below the surface. And we will leave that for one hour approximately for the, for the uh, indigo precursor chemicals to come out of the leaf. The, <coughs> the temperature the, what you're aiming for is for the temperature to go down in that hour from, you know, 90, 100 degrees C down to about 50. The larger the container, the larger the container, the more water you've got in it, the slower it will cool down. And if it's too big, if you've got too much in there, it'll be too slow. To, uh, if, if the temperature is, stays too high during the, during the extraction, some of the indigo will be lost. So it's a bit critical. It's a bit, the, the, it's a bit critical, the amount of water and the amount of leaves you start with. Okay, so <clears throat> here we are an hour later, or approximately an hour later, looking into the bucket. And as you can see, there's a nice patina or a purplish um, bloom of indigo on the surface, just like the cold extraction. In fact, this might be even uh, thicker. Uh, so that's all, that's all happened uh, very quick, and that is the advantage of doing the hot extraction. It is extremely quick. Uh, so I'm just going to take out these uh, weights, keeping it down. You can see, yeah, I don't know if you can see there, but the, uh, there's the blue, indigo blue staining on the plastic of these containers. And if I Let's have a look at the colour of the liquid. Ok, so 
Okay, so the colour there is a, a distinctly tan colour. Uh, but I, I don't know whether you can see it there, but again, near the, sur the, near the surface of the liquid, you can see a blue, a blue colour, indicating there is plenty of indigo in there. Okay, so next step, same as before, uh, filter off the liquid, take away the leaves, and then oxygenate with some alkali. Okay, now we just give these leaves a bit, leaves a bit of a squeeze. The leaves are now pretty well much the same as the waste leaves we had with the cold extraction. Squeeze as much of that juice out as you can. again and we start aerating. Okay so we're just going to add some ammonia now and then start aerating it. liquid is already starting to darken off and the suds are already going quite a nice bluey green. Now, as you see them, it's getting a lot darker very quickly. This is the advantage of doing it slightly warm. Everything happens quicker. That's lovely, that's absolutely fantastic. Really dark now. And that's a that's a good indication that they there's a lot of indigo in there. 